so I went to Target today to go pick up some items I had ordered online, which should have been part of an online order for delivery. But for whatever reason, Target didn't add them to the delivery, so I had to go pick them up at the store. So I went inside and went to do a little shopping before I picked up my item. And when I did, I was basically greeted by, you know, one person when I came in, because I came in and the store opened. Said good morning. I, I said hi. I said good morning. So I proceeded to go shopping and I wanted to get a Lego uh, building set scan. And I asked an associate that was around the corner, took stock in the shelf, uh, could she scan this item? Because my phone, my app didn't work at the time. And I didn't understand why. Because sometimes it just doesn't work because, you know, bad reception, bad connection issues, whatever. It just said item not found. So I asked her to scan it and she took me over to. A scanning device instead of just using her phone which would have been more convenient for both of us because we were both in the same section so instead of see her just scanning the, uh, the, the item for me she walks me over to a scanner and I leave my you know some of the items that I had previously shot for in my little you know carry cart in the aisle so when I come back I'm greeted by a security guard and he asked me do I need any help and I said no I just got walked over to a scanner because I need to find something out how much the price was so, as I continue shopping, uh, oh, I'll, I'll stop right there for a second because I, I picked up an item and it wasn't supposed to be on the shelf because it was street dated to sell on one one, okay? And I asked somebody to scan that and associate and they scanned it for me. It was nine ninety nine. Doesn't tell you that it can't be bought today, but it just told me how much it was. So as I continue to shop for other items and I'm looking around to see what I want and just browsing, I'm noticing I'm being followed by the security guard. Everywhere I turn, this guy is there. Everywhere I go. And this is the first time that this happened to me at this Target location. And the first time it's happened for a very long time is you can see I'm an adult. And I haven't been profiled like that, like so blatantly for a very long time. And it was very apparent to me. So when I found out, you know, basically I went up to the, uh, what is it, the service desk to go get my stuff and the barcode and everything. And. I had to stop the young lady from going outside, you know, instead of going to my car because I wanted to get my items right there online. And I got my items, so I wanted to go pay, pay for my other items that I picked up in the store. So that's when I found out the item that I was going to buy was street dated. And it was on the shelf, but it wasn't for, it can't be sold until the first. So the young lady called some people over, you know, the security guard, once again, is right there. And she said, I won't ask you because you, you probably won't know. She asked another young lady. Uh, and she tells uh, her that I should probably sell them. The security guard stepped in and said no because we've had issues with people buying things before we sell them and the Funkos and other things and blah, blah, blah. And saying that when people buy them and we officially come out, we don't have them. People are upset and irate. I've had that before. I tried to buy some items and the, the same thing happened before. Like, I don't know when certain things are street dead. I just go in their shop. If it's on the shelf and I like it, I'll buy it. So be it. So. It took the item back and said, oh, did you get it off the shelf over in the back over here? And I said, no, I got it out of your Lego section, where there's like 10 of them at. So you guys need to tell your guys not to put that stuff on the shelf. If it's street dated, you know, it doesn't make any sense for me to have to suffer or not get what I want because people don't know how to do their jobs. Uh, and as I left, I told the security guard he can be a personal shopper for me because why not? If you're gonna follow me around all day, you should just, you know, carry my bags and do shopping for me when I want something. Just hold my bag for me. If you're that insecure about me paying for an item, thank you.